Oh, look at that. It's just incredible. Incredible. You kids are so screwed. When you can make characters that look like that, you're never getting off these games. The whole world's going to collapse. Get that for a team og Come on. Oh, the voices in this kid's head. Yeah, we got issues. And one. That's why he's leaking. Nice to see you out, out in Tenaris crying. Well, I've been in Warsaw Gulch busting my ass. Kid is always crying. Everybody's always like, it's been hard on him what he's been through, but it's like, bro, it's World of Warcraft. We've we've been doing it for 20 years now. You're here to tell me. I kill 15 guys for a daily sometimes. Is that it? You needed time. We stayed away. But time by itself heals nothing. You didn't just come here for me. It's the visions. You've seen them. I suspect many have, lately. Let me see, he's checking things out with us. Look at those sausages, just man Something. hands. Someone is calling out from the heart of the world. Like a voice. Is it Magni? <laughs> Look at a little BFA-ish to me. Something dark. Better get them hard Azeroths out, boys. That damn Azerite power flaring the up world again. Needs your light again. My yeah, son. just be careful, because you're gonna rock the boat here. You're gonna get you a handful. Yeah, here it comes. You just tripped the wire. I told you. I am not that person anymore. I have no light. Not after what I've seen. Just say whatever not you gotta what say, Thrall. Done. Just nod. It's okay. Yeah, there you go. Give him soft eye. It's good. He's doing good. Just, oh, God. Look, he's... Ooh, it's not you good. You are not your past, Anduin. That was good. That was a good... You were not... Oh, God. Ew. Shit. 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 I, I should have not taken that portal. Oh, that broke him. That broke the fever right there. Woo. Oh my God. Yeah. You know what? Maybe he should just stay right there where he's at. Might be what's best for him for now. We definitely don't want him around other people. Get that works. kid some medication and some champ stick. Whatever's coming, I'll stand with you. <laughs> yeah, Force well, because you were about to just stab me. So, we you, you know, why don't you stay Who here and I'll come tell Who's you. To us? I'll send someone to come tell you I'm when we sure need yet. you, okay? That's probably where we're at because I've got a pretty strict um, don't stick swords in my chest boundary. Was aimed at someone. That's, that's a... That's another problem too. Yeah, they also dropped a quick video that shows off some of the new features coming in the next expansion. My visions. Everybody's having visions now. Some in the water. No radiance. No song. Just the shadow taunting me from below. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. So 
So we got some new zones coming. I think we all kind of expected that. Dive into delves. We'll look at some of these features here uh, a little more in depth here in a second. Yikes, yikes. The female one was yikes. And now all mounts can do dragon riding flying, okay? New dungeons, new raids. So, it's an exciting but the fate of our I think familiar formula. Upon the edge fate of our world. Of I gotta tell you, this feels very BFA-ish to me. Uh, but I will, I do have to admit, I've been a little detached from the story. I have to tell you, as a huge fan of retail World of Warcraft, well, a huge fan of aspects of retail World of Warcraft. And as someone who quite obviously would like to see World of Warcraft be very successful and grow, I have a great passion for, for the game. I think it's uniquely awesome in many ways. I have to say that after watching that trailer, I'm really not that excited. There doesn't seem to be anything that's coming in that I'm like, wow, that looks amazing. I can't wait to try it. It looks like they're really sticking to the, you know, new zones, new that we've talked about it. We've talked about it. I mean, that's what's interesting about this three game or three expansion decision is, boy, you're really locked in it. You're really go getting on this train all the way to this one. But the problem is, what if this one doesn't do well? You're just going to keep riding this train all the way down? And I'm not saying it won't. I mean, again, we're going to need the C. I think what really makes a great expansion is, you know, the features and the systems. I, I mean, the features they just outlined don't look that awesome yet, but there might be new ones coming in. I mean, they might make some changes to battlegrounds or something. That would really excite me. I mean, are they even going to have battlegrounds? Why do we have battlegrounds if we're all on the same team now? I don't really understand the point of battlegrounds. I mean, I have a host of personal complaints from story to a whole bunch of character development and a whole bunch of other complaints that I've mentioned. But in the end, I think it boils down for me. It just feels like as World of Warcraft goes on, it just seems like it gets less and less like the World of Warcraft that I fell in love with, which is fine. You know, nothing, nothing lasts forever. And this is new WoW. And they got this brave new world. Uh, and the war within is, is where we're headed. I do still think the critics are going to say it looks like the same old formula that really didn't work that well for Dragonflight in regards to sales and stuff. And if I'm a Microsoft investor right now and you're showing me this as the next product we're going to try to sell, I'm concerned. I'm concerned. As I scroll through these, you know, it's new zones and they'll be gorgeous. They always are. They'll be beautiful and awesome. Uh, these new features, I mean, dragon riding for regular mounts, reskinned dwarves, new dungeons, new raid, some extra specializations to the specializations. Hopefully this is a count wide reputation. And, you know, these things are always well intended, but I've, you know, I've seen the islands and the war zones and all the other, you know, Torgath. There's just been a lot of attempts at group and single content that just probably wasn't worth the investment and development time. And it just never really took off. Or I don't know. It just, it sometimes this stuff is great, I guess, but a lot of times it just turns out not to be. So we'll see. Maybe Dells are, are the new, next best thing, but a lot of times they're not. You know, for me, I'm a little sad, I think, because I love the character development and the talent trees and just the play style of the classes in retail. But I have a great affinity and affection for the lore and story of classic. And so I think I was hoping that there was going to be some great rework that was kind of going to bring both those worlds together and we could all be happy and, and, uh, and together again. I talked about how that was pretty naive and there was a lot of problems with that vision. But I think in my heart, I was still hoping that that could kind of be the case. 
but it seems like they're very dedicated to what I would call the Dragonflight formula. There's a breakdown of the War Within coming in 2024. It's part of the World Soul Saga, so the next three expansions right there. So put your hands in the air, Oklahoma gang. It's a three expansion train we're on, and we're going full steam ahead. Choo-choo, motherfuckers. Oklahoma out.